continuing with our series on unhealthy things we do on a daily basis. In this video, we're gonna be going over the unhealthy things we do with our cell phones and the solutions. So to start with, you never wanna hold your phone to your head. And this is even stated in the manual of most cellular phones. And that's because they emit electromagnetic radiation and scientists have suspected that this radiation might increase the risk of brain cell damage leading to tumors. I have a whole series on how to protect yourself from this radiation with blockers on your computers, your Wi-Fi, and many devices. But the best way to protect yourself from your phone is by talking on speakerphone and holding it away from your head. Also, don't keep it near your body at night, such as on a pillow or on a night table or something like that, particularly if you're pregnant. You can also put it on airplane mode, which stops the electromagnetic frequencies or fields. And I use a product that covers the phone with a protector, but if you must carry your cell phone on you, make sure that the keypad is positioned towards your body so the back is positioned outward where the signal comes from. But it's best in a backpack or a bag because keeping it in your front pockets has been linked to damage to sperm, poor fertility, and higher chances of miscarriage or childhood cancer. The World Health Organization has also conceded that cell phones are possibly carcinogenic, and now the FCC is reassessing safe radiation exposure limits for all cell phones. So whether you believe in it or not, it's something that you can easily protect yourself from. Now, there'll be a link below for a video with many of the ways to protect yourself from EMFs like this on all different types of devices. The next thing to know is that your phone emits artificial blue light. Now, this gives your brain a false sense that it's daytime, throwing off your sleep patterns, hormones, and can lead to chronic diseases and so many other problems in the body. Sleep hormones out of balance can cause weight gain since it's not just melatonin affected, but also ghrelin and leptin, which are the hunger hormones. And without sleep, these hormones can be altered, skewing a person's appetite, causing cravings and overconsumption of high calorie foods or sugary foods or, or empty carbs. So I'll have a link for a free webinar that I give showing you how to avoid many things like this that unknowingly make you gain weight. As far as solutions, there is a way to change your phone to lower levels of blue light, which I have in the blog for this video, and you'll find a link for that in the info box below. And I notice a huge difference with this. Once you turn off the blue light, you'll notice how looking at a phone without it immediately will hurt your eyes. And that's what most people are staring at all day and this can cause myopia and even blindness long term. Other symptoms of digital eye strain include eye redness or irritation, dry eyes, blurred vision, back pain, neck pain, and headaches. Device users are advised to take breaks from looking at their screen and follow the 20-20-20 rule. That's taking a 20 second break every 20 minutes using, from using any type of electrical device and looking at something that's 20 feet away. The other thing to do is wear blue light blocking glasses, and these are said to offer improved sleep patterns, lower risk of many chronic diseases, improved mood, and the primary benefit is to prevent damage to the DHA essential fat in your retina, which converts sunlight to the vital DC electric current that your body needs. The glasses also help your body's production of mitochondria, which is vital for every major health function. They even help with mood enhancement, and in, even in studies with people with bipolar disorder, they're having great results using these. The next thing to avoid with your cell phone is bending over looking at your phone. This is bad for your neck, your back, it can cause headaches, posture problems, and spinal misalignment. Think about how many times a day you check your phone. All that constant tilting down will do this as the weight of your head puts pressure on your neck and your spine, and that can lead to a condition called tech neck. And this is not just with cell phones, as doctors are even seeing this more and more in young children because of handheld games and computers. Now this can have serious repercussions for our spinal cord, so it's important to be aware of. And that's most especially because Americans now spend a staggering eight and a half hours in front of screens all day. So most of us may be well on our way to having this. The biggest thing you can do to combat this is stop looking down and bring your device up to your eye line so it's in front of your face. According to experts, for every inch your head goes in front of your neck, it adds 10 pounds of pressure to your spine. This in turn flattens your cervical and thoracic curves in your spine, and that will not just cause neck pain, but pain throughout your whole back, and also a painful condition called occipital neuralgia, which is caused when the occipital nerves at the base of your neck get compressed from looking down all the time, and that'll cause terrible headaches. So be mindful of your posture. And the next thing to be aware of with your cell phone is germs. 
Recent study has shown that your cell phone can have up to 18 times more harmful bacteria than your toilet handle, and that the heat your phone generates makes a perfect breeding ground for more bacteria. Most people cook, go to the bathroom, touch many things in public, and then touch their phone, and then put it to their face. And even superbugs and viruses like MRSA have been found on cell phones. I use a disinfectant spray, but at least use a moist towel and then with, use a dry one after that, as that'll help greatly. Finally, digital multitasking is becoming a big problem, as it might seem effective, but it's making us less focused, as a recent Microsoft study showed that the average attention span of the participants was only eight seconds. And a goldfish, by the way, has an attention span of nine seconds. So when we're using our cell phones and devices too much, we could be a second behind that. Don't! Now, this will also change the physical structure of your brain, as researchers are, sh are showing that people who engage in higher amounts of multimedia tasking actually have smaller amounts of brain matter, which is linked to decreased cognitive control and emotional regulation. The average young adult spends sends 109 text messages and checks their phone over 60 times per day. So we need to be more aware of this because it's considered addictive behavior. And this is also an addiction that causes 27% of car accidents, and those are just the ones that are reported. But the biggest problem I see with cell phone use is when I see women who are not paying attention because of it to their environment around them because it makes them an easy target for someone to hurt or rob them. This is the same thing with everyone walking around with headphones or not paying attention because of that. The solution is to make a commitment to wait to where you're going and then you'll be a lot safer. So there's a lot to be aware of here and a lot of very simple solutions. Now link below I have a free webinar about specific toxins that cause you to gain weight as mentioned and I show you how to eliminate them with herbs. So if you can't lose weight or are sick a lot, this could be an answer for you. So I hope you found this helpful and for more videos on health and wellness related to mind, body and spirit, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell, and I'll see you in the next one. Good luck with this.